All right. Thanks again for joining today's tobacco use and vaping use screening next gen tips and tricks training. We'll go and get started. Lung cancer. So lung cancer is both small cell and non-small cell. It is the second most common cancer in both men and women, not counting skin cancer. In men, prostate cancer is more common, while in women, breast cancer is more common, according to the American Cancer Society in 2020. All right, so why screen for tobacco and vaping use? So first, to encourage smoking cessation, to help prevent lung cancer. It's also required by the UDS. And we have to screen for smoking use once a year to meet certain preventative care and screening guidelines according to the 2021 Uniform Data System Program. And the tobacco use screening and cessation inter intervention has been revised to align with CMS 138B9. Okay, so we have a measured description on the right hand side as well as the initial population. All right. So where to find tobacco and vaping screening in NextGen? So tobacco cessation can be found in the intake and soap template. So if you're in uh, NextGen and you're in the intake tab, you can click the cog wheel in the right hand corner. Once you click that, this risk factors config window opens up and you click tobacco usage. Or you can, uh, if you're in the social history template under history, you click on add edit button in the intake. So how to screen for tobacco use. So once you have this window open, you wanna fill in the, the tobacco use questionnaire. Okay. And then also fill out any pertinent information that the patient provides. Please make sure that smoking status and tobacco use status is also filled out as well. And you will receive a pick list pop-up when you click on them. All right. So you wanna make sure that all this information is filled out. And you, once you click on, say, uh, usage per day, years used, also a message will, a little pop-up window will pop up, um, allowing you to enter the number of years, uh, age started, et cetera. Okay. Please make sure you also click on reviewed button on the top, top right-hand corner, and today's date is updated. So once you click on this uh, box here for reviewed, it will automatically update to the date that it was uh, documented. All right. So you also want to make sure that the smoking status again and the tobacco status is filled out. Leave the tobacco cessation uh, discussed for provider and then click OK. Now we'll go on to vaping. So nicotine vapes, those are handheld devices powered by lithium iron ion batteries designed to mimic the sensation of smoking without combustion. So nicotine options are customizable from 0% up to 5%, also with flavors ranging from tobacco to desserts to unflavored. Now, on the other hand, there's cannabis or CBD vapes, and those are portable battery powered or large desktop devices powered either by batteries or electrical power supplies that heat the material. These devices are used with CBD, THC, or other botanicals from dry herbs to concentrates. So how to screen for vaping use. So in the same tobacco screening template, you can scroll down and find vaping use. You want to make sure that you fill out the screen for vaping and status as well. And then also leave vaping cessation discussed for provider. So the provider will go over that with the patient. And then click OK. So again, you want to uh, fill all this information out and then click OK.